welcome to the Saturday Morning Show. I'm Kristen. And I'm Jenny. This week we have for you a tour of our school. And along with that, we talked to some kids around the school and asked them what they liked about FHS. So stay tuned and check out our good show this week. Here we go. For this week's show, we're going to give you our tour of our school. That's right. For those of the seventh graders who are just arriving, maybe you don't really know your way around. So maybe a tour is what you need. <laughs> and maybe some of you, some of our viewers haven't been in the high school for a long time. So maybe you want to see how it's doing because it's pretty nice. Yeah, actually right now I'm having some roof work done. so Which is loud and smelly, but hopefully it'll benefit us in the future. <laughs> I swear, one of them, are, they're just going to come through the roof. I swear, they have like a pet bull up there and they're stomping around, chasing cows or something. Seriously. It's crazy. Anyway, our tour of our school is beneficial for those of you who are curious about how our school is doing. Just in case if you haven't ever really been around the entire school, now you can with our tour. A virtual <laughs> tour, so enjoy this. Hey guys, so we're at the school and we're going to give you a nice little quick tour of what exactly is going on inside of here. Hopefully it'll give you an idea of what school is like every day for all of us students, so stay tuned and check it out. Here we go. Alrighty, so this is our commons area where we hang out, whatever. We eat lunch here and we hang up our posters for sports and stuff, seasonal. Cheerleaders make those, nice job cheerleaders. And then we have posters for dance and whatever, stuff like that. Um, vending machines, which are always empty for some reason. I don't know what the point is. That's super fun though. And this is also where we have our dances and everything. We just clean out all the tables and we do a whole bunch of stuff in here. And we have banquets in here, which you've probably attended maybe. And it's a lot of fun. And this is like the big gathering area of our school. All right guys, and right from the commons, we're gonna start and head our way over to the music room where all the musical stuff happens. You know, band instruments and singing and all that fun stuff. So yeah, usually there's a bunch of chairs here for everyone to sit down, but this is where all the music so stuff happens. Thank you so right across the hall from the music classroom is the BFAC, which right now this is the backstage area, which is the exclusive view for you right now. So this is our B-flag, and we have flags from the flag team and all the stuff, which I'm not sure quite what's for. And then this right here is the center of the stage, which is covered with stuff for the convo on the first day. And then I'll take you to the front of the stage, which is right back here, behind the curtains, which we have to be gentle with. And this is our B-flag. So this is where our plays are put on, of course, and our music concerts. Uh, Copa was here last year, so probably most of the town has seen the BFAC before, and it's super cool, and it's a lot of fun, and it's really nice, and it's probably one of the best things about our school. And this is obviously the gym where all the sporty stuff happens, and um, nice and big, perfect for doing whatever you do, basketball mostly, and our nice little mezzanine up there. And you got the two locker rooms. Well, that locker room is the girls and boys over there. And the weight room in the back. We got ourselves a nice gym. And this hallway right here is kind of like the main hallway right off the common. And we like to refer to it as junior high hallway where all the seventh graders have their lockers. We're both part of the eighth graders. And in this hallway we have classes for junior high people. So we have like Mrs. Horky, seventh grade English, and we have the art room, which is interesting. And at the end of the hall, we have like the geometry room and the shops and everything, and that's really cool. And we also have 
like math rooms and this little office here for teachers, for cart teachers. And we have the business rooms. So not all of this room is for junior high people, but most of it is. And then we have family living and all this stuff in this hallway and it's super fun and it's one of the cool hallways in our school. All right, and here's another hallway because you know schools have a lot of hallways. We basically just go in a big square, so this is one of the main routes. And you just take this hallway down to whatever classroom you got, and that's how it works in high school. And also down this hallway is the media center, and this is a library, bookshelves, you know, the usual lots of books, and computer lab over there, and that's the media center for you. Okay, and then off the big main square, this is like a little side square where like freshmen and the sophomores think have some lockers. This is like where all the science rooms are located. So we have like lower level science over here, and then we have chemistry and biology and physical science down in this hallway. And all the science rooms are equipped with like super cool stuff, like everything you can think of that goes in a science room inside these rooms, of course. And it's a lot of cool stuff, and we learn a lot in these rooms. All right, and this is the best hallway of them all, senior hallway, with all of our lockers and um, a nice little poster right here. Which continues. Get the whole year started off good with posters. And yeah, this hallway is used for walking a lot, so <laughs> if you ever want to just like walk to a class, you could probably take this hallway if you wanted to. But it's like the freeway of the high school. Yeah, this is like the freeway of the high school, so take this hallway because it's probably the best one you'll use. Unless you're in junior high, then don't even bother. Hands down, the messiest room in our school, the messiest classroom that is, is Miss Schutz. And she's an English teacher slash journalism advisor, and this is her room. It's a pigsty. And it's like this all year round. And for me and Jenny, we spend a lot of our time this is in our room. In this room, this is like our little sanctuary throughout the year because we're in journalism, so we're always in here. These are our desks for our seniors, so we'll be using these this year. And for some reason, Shoot's desk is actually clean, which is really weird. That's a first. That will not last long. It'll take like a week for that to get dirty. And again. then back here is like the journalism headquarters where all the blazer comes from and everything, which is super messy always. We don't even have this many students in journalism, so I don't know why we have and we have like yearbooks from like 1920 and everything in here. And it's really cool. Messy journals. And this is the dark room. This has changed a lot since I'm sure some of you have seen it. Where this is where the film actually used to be developed and everything from our cameras. And now it's just more storage and stuff for shoot and her messy life. And then we have the even darker room, which is has a sink in it and a microwave. Shoot's room really wasn't that messy. That is really strange that it wasn't messy because usually it's a pig's eye. Yeah. Like it's always, like especially in the summer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The summer she takes up two rooms. Yeah. Oh. Like not just her room but Mr. Sui's room too. It's crazy. I don't know how she has a lot of stuff. And when we come back from our commercial break we'll be showing to you some of our students and teachers favorite things about February High School. Need to get away for a night? Come to the Capri Motel. We have 45 rooms, smoking and non-smoking. Many of our rooms are designed for handicap accessibility. All of our rooms are equipped with refrigerators, cable TV, and free Wi-Fi. All major credit cards are accepted. Coming soon, the Capri Luxury Suites. Call to reserve your room today, 402-729-3317. That old wash machine just not cutting the mustard? Really? Bring your clothes to Dirty Biz Laundry at 521 C Street. Our state-of-the-art machines will cut your laundry time in half. Jenny and I went around the school and we spent some time talking to students about what their favorite thing is about high school. 
yeah, we like to take an optimistic approach on things, and it seems like there isn't enough recognition about how great of a school we actually do have. And I think the best way to raise some pride in your, I think the best way to raise some pride in your school is to list a bunch of things that you really like about it. With that, we went around and we talked to some different students and the teacher about what they liked about the school. So here's a few reasons why FHS rocks. Hi, my favorite thing about FHS is the library. My favorite thing about FHS is our speech team. My favorite thing about Fairbury High School is all the dual credit classes that are offered because it's a way to get a head start on your college education. My favorite thing about FHS would be Kristen. Okay, what I like about FHS is that you know everyone in school, so it's easy to communicate with others, including the teachers, and also it helps set us up for college. My favorite thing about Fairbury High School would probably be having Mr. Sui as one of my teachers. My favorite thing about FHS is our students and our teachers. Thank you to the students who participated and Mrs. Horky for giving us her opinion also. And I think we should ask each other, what do you like about our school, Kristen? My favorite thing about Fairbury High School is the size because there's like there's like 400 students, 400 odd students in our school, so you have really good opportunity to know everybody. Whereas in bigger schools, there's 400 students in a class. Yeah, that would be crazy. And so I like being able to like talk to everybody and like know about them and be like, hi. And be walking down the hall and be like, I know all of you. Yeah, like you can talk to anybody because you know them all, and like it's just really nice. Jenny, what's your favorite thing? I think what I like about our school is our stadium, because it's just like. It's really nice and it's big and there's nice little students. It's section. a really good representation of our school because it's like really grand and yeah. really elaborate. And now that we have the nice little track around it, it's like complete. It's finished. It yeah. looks good. And we're one of the first ones to be able to run on the track, so that's pretty cool. Congrats to us. <laughs> but yeah, the, the stadium sports complex is very sweet. Yeah, we actually just had our sock hop there last week, so that was cool. Sock hop's fun. I loved it. It was a blast. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. Making someone feel special for any occasion is easier with the help of Lily's Flowers and Gifts. Lily's delivers daily to all local schools and the back to school season is perfect for sending our candy bouquets, floral arrangements, or custom goodie baskets to a special student or teacher. With comb coming right around the corner, buy your boutonnieres and corsages from Lily's too. morning show sweet and short. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. <laughs> there you go, folks. Short and sweet. And we'll see you next week. See ya. That's super fun though. And it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Super cool. And it's a lot of fun and it's and that's really cool. And it's super fun. Super cool stuff. And <laughs> a lot of cool stuff. And we have